Hey Sing Kingdom Minded Family, we are so happy you came over to watch another video on our channel. We absolutely love and appreciate every one of our subscribers. You guys are truly the best. Without you, we would not have a channel. You guys are so amazing. We thank you for the comments, the likes, the views, and the shares, and everything in between. You guys are simply amazing. We are almost at 300 subscribers, and honestly, I really did not know if this day would ever come. So I'm super excited, and I want to give you guys a little bit of an explanation as to what has been going on on our channel because our uploading schedule has been a little bit off this week so I feel inclined to explain so here we go my husband's grandmother unfortunately passed away a week ago Sunday and so that was obviously not an easy thing to deal with so that has had family from out of town in to visit which we were ever so grateful to be able to spend time with them it's just the normal routine every day day in day out routine has been off so in addition to that, our youngest son has been sick since last evening, so that's kind of thrown some things off. And so just so you guys are aware, um, I'm going to do a tip on here, also an, an encouraging word, and try to take care of Tuesdays and Wednesdays concepts and, and things together in one video. So I really hope you guys enjoy. Please stay tuned to the very end because I'm going to ask you to do something for me at the very end of this video. So watch it until the end, guys. I would really, really appreciate it. Okay, so today's tip Tuesday slash encouraging word for your Wednesday is in the book of 1 Peter and the 5th chapter and the 7th verse, NLT reads, give all your worries and cares to God for he cares for you. So let's talk about all. All means everything, not just some things, not just the things that you feel comfortable handing over to God because these things over here, see, I'm going to take care of these myself because I can't really give these fully to God because I need to be in control. That's bad. <laughs> I need to be in control of these situations. So let God, let God, the creator of heaven and earth, be in control of your all. So your bills, your relationships, your falling outs with friends, your emotions, your depression, your anxiety, which is actually not yours anyway. They're spirits from Satan himself. So give them to God and let him take care of them for you because we definitely do not want to have to battle those battles and those spirits. Definitely not in this world. We've got enough going on. So give those things definitely to God. Give him the good things. Give him the in-between things and give him the bad things. The Bible says all and that's an all-inclusive list. So whatever your all is today, give it over to God and let him take care of it for you. We were not intended to have to carry those burdens. The Bible says very plainly to give them to God and that he's going to take care of them. Why? Because he cares for you. He loves you and he wants to take care of everything that you are facing. He wants to hear from you when things are going good. He wants to hear from you when things are going bad, when things are in between. He wants to know every single thing. He already does. So you might as well just open it up and give it to him anyways and let him take care of it. And once you pray to God and you give him a situation, along with the tip of giving it to him, is don't take it back again. Don't carry that burden. You have a cross to bear, that is true, but give all of your weights and your sins and your struggles and your doubts, because we do, give it all to God and let him take care of it for you today. That is your tip. Your encouraging word for your Wednesday is this. In the hustle and bustle of life, we tend to deal with emergent needs first. Okay, what has to be done, what needs to be done, and what can wait. And that's okay. We're prioritizing. But what I would say to you today is we all have relationships that we have let kind of fall by the wayside in the hustle and bustle of life. We all put off to tomorrow what can be taken care of today. Slightly a procrastination mindset. We all have a tendency to do those things. Some of us worse than others. Some of us handle that better than others. But this is what I want to encourage you guys to do today. Reach out to a friend. Reach out to a loved one. Reach out to someone that is important to you. Maybe you just talked to them yesterday. Maybe you haven't talked to them in six months. We do not know when our day or hour is going to be up on this earth. We all will spend eternity somewhere. That is a fact. The Bible ensures that. Whether you go to heaven and spend it with your loved ones or not, the choice is totally up to you. 
but we're going to spend it somewhere. But while we're here on this earth, our friends, our family members, the people that are close to us need to know that we care. And we get so caught up in everything we're busy with day in and day out that we don't even take the time to send a text. We don't even take the time to make a phone call. So your family lives an hour, two hours, five hours, 20 hours away from you. That's fine. We have technology, guys. Let's use it to our advantage. So my tip for you is to give your all to God. My encouragement for you today is to reach out to your loved ones, your friends, your family, your neighbor for that matter, anyone. Let people know you care about them. Let them know that just because life has gotten in the way and you haven't made time for them yet doesn't mean that you're not trying to. Doesn't mean you don't miss them, love them, or think about them because let's face it, tomorrow on this earth is not promised. No man knows the day nor the hour when your time is going to be up on this earth. So take advantage of every second, every minute, every hour, every day that God gives you on this earth. Be a light in the darkness. Shine for Jesus Christ. Be a light to someone. And also let people know that you love them, that they're important to you, and that they really, truly do matter. So this is what I'm asking each and every one of my subscribers to do. And I will know if you watch the entire video because you might do this at the end. In the comment section below, I want you to put a name. One name, not a first and last name, just put a name. The first name that pops in your head when I asked you to reach out to someone that needs to hear that you love them, that needs to know that they're important, even if you haven't made the time for them in your life recently, put one name in the comment section below. And I am actually going to write those names down tonight during my prayer time. And I am going to call their names out before God on your behalf, my behalf, and their behalf, because God wants to touch them. There's a purpose for this video. There was a reason why that came to my mind and I'm sharing it with you today. One name in the comment section below, guys, because I want to seek God on your family, your friends, your neighbor's behalf tonight during my prayer time. That is what I feel like the Lord wants me to do for you guys tonight. So that is what I'm going to do. Not because I'm great, not because I'm special, but because I want to be a willing vessel that is used by God Almighty. And so when he put something in my heart to do, that's what I want to do. So I thank you for watching this video and just for kicks and giggles, I'm going to sing a little tune because I did not get to do a song Saturday video either. So just so you know, our upload schedule is a tip for your Tuesday, an encouraging word for your Wednesday, and a song Saturday. And then of course you all know that I throw up some random funny little video in between just to share something with you God's given me, something cute, something fun, something special, just something that, you know, kind of makes my clock tick, just something that I love to do. So I thank you guys. I love you guys. I appreciate every single minute that you've watched our video. So I hope you like this song also. So God bless you guys. Be blessed today. Be an encouragement to someone else. And we will see you in our next video. This little light of mine, I'm going to let it shine. This little light of mine, I'm going to let it shine. This little light of mine, I'm going to let it shine. Let it shine. Let it shine. Let it shine. Let your light shine today, guys. Tell someone about Jesus, the gospel message. Tell someone that he loves them. He died for them. He rose again for them. And he lives today for them. I love you guys. I'll see you soon.